teacher Erica and it's Chobak time! Now, balikan natin ang napag-aralan natin last Sunday. Kids, naalala nyo pa ba? Yes, we talk about being a worshiper student. At nalaman natin ang tatlong bagay why we need to worship God. Alam nyo pa ba yung tatlong yun, kids? Sige nga, isa-isahin natin. Number one, worship Him because He is your God. Tama. Number two, worship Him because He is good. Number three, worship Him because He is faithful. Tama. Ang galing nyo, kids. Kung kanina, ang tanong natin ay why, ngayon, balikan naman natin on how we will worship God. Naalala nyo pa ba yun, kids? Sige nga, isa-isahin ulit natin. Number one is singing. Number two is dancing. Number three is clapping. Number four is lifting up our hands. Number five is bowing down your head. Number six is kneeling down. And the last is playing musical instrument. Kayo ba? Sinimulan nyo na bang i-worship si Lord? Kung hindi pa, simulan natin. So kids, tapos na ang ating trouble time. So make sure you do this as you worship God. Ano pang hinihintay mo? Gawin mo itong mga ito during sa ating worship time. Alam kong ready ka na. Ready na? Ready na? Yan! Very good! Let me hear you say, I am not ashamed. Romans 1 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. Who? Everyone who believes. I am not ashamed. Yeah, I think you got it.
Hi kids! This is teacher Hannah and it's our time. For this week's our time, alam mo ba? So we will be designing a shirt. Yes, you heard it right. Magde-design tayo ng shirt. Kaya, ready na, ready na? Yay! But before anything else, let's prepare the following materials. Kahit anong damit na nagamit na, pwede t-shirt o sando. Pwede ring may ibang kulay. Drawing at coloring materials. Hindi pwede ang crayons. Pwede gumamit ng paint. Dagdagan mo na rin ng paintbrush. Pumili kung saan part ka ng damit magde-design. Pwedeng sa harap o sa likod.
Nag-enjoy ba kayo mag-design ng shirt, kids? Yay! Very good! Now, I challenge you naman to wear and take a video of you modeling your design. Upload mo rin yan sa yung Facebook account para makita nila pictures. Pero, baka may ilan sa inyo na nagtatanong, Teacher, ano po ba yung ginawa natin kanina? Ano po yung unashamed? Ano po yung gospel? Wes, malaman nyo yun namaya sa Bible time. Kaya, hindi ka na ito patatagalin pa. Paalam! Hi, Life for Kids! Hi, Primary Kids! So, again, this is Teacher Jenica. So, again, I want to welcome everyone to our class for today. So, we are on the fourth week of our Back to School series and I know na every week ay marami kayong natatanggap na new learnings. So, gaya na lang na napag-usapan natin weeks ago about prayer, worship, at marami pang iba. So, and so today, learning never stop. Sige nga, sabihin mo nga ulit. Learning never stops. So, may panibago tayong pag-uusapan. Ang tanong ko, are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Very good. So, our topic for today is an excellent student. Sige nga, sabihin mo nga ulit. An excellent student. So, remember, nung January 2020 pa lang, some of you ay nakaka-attend na ng Kids Church Gathering every Sunday. So, at doon, pinag-uusapan natin ay about the word excellence. So, but for some, hindi pa ito alam at para lang din maalala natin, ba? we have talked about the excellent God. Amen! And that we also need to be excellent in everything we do because we are serving an excellent God. Amen? So, today, we will hear new words na makikita natin sa kids' Bible Dictionary. First is the word excellent. So, excellent is outstanding. Yun ang pala yung meaning niya. Outstanding or very good. First class. Ganon. So, many of us wants to be an excellent. Tama. Gusto mo maging excellent. So, sa subjects natin, gaya ng math, science, or English, pati na din sa ating mga nilalarong games. We want to be excellent. Diba? We want to be the best. Diba? Or, we want to be an outstanding gamer or outstanding student sa class. Or, you want to be an MVP player sa isang basketball team. So, ganon. But today, malalaman natin kung ano nga ba ang pinakamahalagang katangian na mayroon ang isang excellent student of God. Ano kaya yung teacher? Diba? Or bilang isang batang life for kids. So, papaano ka ba magiging excellent? So, let us learn, diba, from Apostle Paul. Sige nga, sabihin mo nga ulit. Apostle Paul. So, ano ba yung sikreto ni Apostle Paul? Why is Apostle, Apostle Paul an outstanding student of God? Diba? Let us look at Romans 1, 6. Do you have your Bibles? Sige, let us open our Bibles to Romans 1, 6. So, sabi doon, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. First for the Jew, then to the Gentiles. Amen? So, from these words of Apostle Paul, we can see that an excellent student of God is 
an excellent student of God is not ashamed of the gospel. That is our one and only point for today. Nang isang excellent student of God daw ay hindi nahihiya mag-share ng gospel. Wow! Amen? So, an excellent student of God is not ashamed of the gospel. See nga, sabihin mo nga ulit, an excellent student of God is not ashamed of the gospel. That's right. So, kung gusto mo palang maging excellent student of God, hindi ka dapat ashamed sa gospel. So, teacher, ano bang ibig sabihin ng ashamed? So, let us look at our kids' Bible dictionary again. So, ashamed means, okay, having a feeling of being embarrassed or guilty. So, sa Filipino word, nahihiya, shy type, ganun. So, meaning, ang e- an excellent student of God, or, or an excellent student ni God, ay hindi ikinahihiya ang gospel o ang word na. Okay? Yung iba ngayon, yung iba ngayon kasi, ikinahihiya nila ang word of God dahil naiisip nila na baka may mga tumawa sa kanila. ba diba? At mang asal sa kanila dahil naniniwala sila sa gospel. So, pero hindi pala dapat ganun. Gaya ni Paul, okay, at ng ibang mga disciples or students ni Jesus, dapat hindi mo ikinahihiya ang word of God. Bakit? Teacher, bakit hindi ko dapat kinahihiya yung word of God? Because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. That's right. Kung walang gospel, di ba, walang salvation. Di ba? Kaya hindi dapat maging ashamed. Or, dapat hindi ka mahiya. Meaning, hindi mo dapat ikinahihiya ang gospel dahil ito ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos na magdadala ng kaligtasan sa mga taong maniniwala. So, kaya ka dapat hindi ka nahihiya mag-share ng word of God. Amen? So, quick and simple lang ang ating lesson for today. So, remember this kids, okay, an excellent student of God is not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power for the salvation of everyone who believes. Amen? So, as we end, Ano bang gagawin natin? Teacher, ano bang gagawin namin? So, one thing lang. Isa lang, kids. Share the gospel of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, to your friends and to other people. Now, the, uh, now that we are still in quarantine, you can do that by inviting your friends to our online life group and church. So, pwede mong sabihin sa kanila, sa mga friends mo, alam mo, love ka ni Lord. So, yun na yung pag-share natin ng gospel. So, plus, for some of you na may mga mobile devices, you can chat your friend and kamustahin mo hanggang sa ma-share mo ang gospel sa kanila. You always have to remind them that Jesus loves them. Okay? Kids, wag na wag mong ikakahiya ang gospel o ang word ni God or at God mismo. Okay? So, wag ka mahiya na love mo si Jesus, na express mo na love na love mo si Jesus. Okay? Huwag ka mahiya na nakikinig ka ng kids church. Okay? Huwag ka mahiya na umaaten ka ng life group at nagbabasa ka ng Bible. Huwag na huwag kayong mahihiya kids. Okay? At huwag na huwag natin ikakahiya si Lord. Amen? 
So, as you grow up, okay, do not be ashamed of the gospel. Because may power ito na iligtas ang tao mula sa kamay ni Satan. So, alright. Dito na natatapos ang lesson natin for today. And I hope na i-apply natin ito sa ating daily life. Okay? Sino na dito hindi mahihiya mag-share ng gospel? Taas ang kamay. Very good! Dapat di tayo mahihiya mag-share ng gospel. So again, I want to thank you all na nakinig ngayon. Okay? So thank you kids! Thank you, kids, and see you on our series break celebration next Sunday. Okay? So, but before that, let us pray. Pray tayo. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po sa, uh, sa araw na ito. Lord, thank you so much, God, dahil natapos namin yung buong series. Lord, naniniwala ako na lahat ng mga kids ngayon na nakikinig sa amin ngayon, they will be an excellent student of God. They will obey you, they will love you, and they will never be ashamed of the gospel. Lord, I pray that you anoint their mouth to share the word of God. Thank you, Father. I pray that you bless them. I pray that you protect them, Father. In Jesus' name, and everybody say, Amen! So again, see you again next Sunday, mga kids! Bye! Hello, kids! Teacher Erica is back, and this time, it's activity time! Simple lang ang ating activity for today, at alam kong kayang-kaya nyo itong gawin. So, ano pang hinihintay natin, kids? Let's start! So today, we will go in to create a testimony. First, you need a band paper or colored paper or any paper. And of course, you need a pen. Second, write my life before and now at the top of your paper. And the last, write your testimony on how God changed you. Isulat mo kung paano gumalaw si Jesus sa buhay mo. Isulat mo dyan kung paano ka binago ni Lord. Alright? Okay ba yun, kids? That's it for our activity for today. So, kids, see you next week! Bye! Hello Life for Kids Primary! Again, I am Teacher Krisha at ngayon ay magtatapos na naman ang another session ng ating Kids Church Online. But before that, balikan muna natin lahat ng mga natutunan natin sa ating buong hashtag Back to School Series. First, ang natutunan natin ay tayo bilang mga Student of the Word. Second week naman, tayo bilang Prayerful Student. And third week, last week lang to, tayo bilang mga worshiper students. At kanina lang, fresh na fresh pa, tinuruan tayo bilang mga excellent student. Papaano nga ulit? Very good by sharing the word of God. So ayan kids, kumpleto na. Kaya sa panibagong school year, sa pagsisimula ng panibagong school year, do not just be a student, but be a student of God also. Tara kids, bago natin i-end ang series na ito, pray tayo. Sige everybody, close your eyes and bow down your heads and we will pray. Heavenly Father, maraming maraming salamat po sa buong month of August. Salamat po sa panibagong series na aming natutunan, na aming tinalakay. First Lord, kami bilang mga student of the word. Lord, thank you for telling us and teaching us to delight and meditate in your word not just once a week, not just every Sunday, not just every life group, Lord God, but every day of our life. Lord, day and night, we will delight and meditate in your word. 
Next, Lord, thank you for teaching us how to be a prayerful student. Lord, help us not just to pray for ourselves, but also for other people. And Lord, thank you for teaching us how to properly worship you. Lord, thank you also for teaching us kung bakit ba namin kailangan ikaw i-worship. And that is because you are our God. You are so good and you are so faithful in our life. And you deserve our praises and worship. And lastly, Lord, thank you for telling us what we really need to do as your student. And that is to share your word to the people around us. Lord, give us strength, give us courage, give us wisdom as we do these things. Ayaw po namin, Lord God, na student lang kami. Student lang kami sa school, student lang kami ng mga teachers namin. Magaling lang kami, Lord God, sa mga subjects namin sa school. But we want to be your student na magaling sa word mo, magaling sa pag-pray, sa pag-worship sa'yo, at sa pag-share ng salita mo. Lord God, marami marami salamat po at protektahan mo po kami. Lord, Ikaw din po ang mag-provide sa amin at sa aming mga family araw-araw. We love you, Lord. We praise you. We glorify you. We appreciate you. Holy Spirit, thank you for your wisdom for us. Thank you for guiding us. Maraming maraming salamat po. And all life for kids will say, Amen. Now, kids, I am inviting all of you in our Play and Pray series next week. So, see you there!